Open Treasure is a multi-phase development project designed to transform the way visitors can enjoy the cathedral and gain inspiration from it. The upcoming phase involves significant works in buildings first built to meet the needs of the monks who lived here before the Reformation. It will open up both buildings and access to the cathedral's historic collections of artefacts and objects of international significance, so they can be discovered and enjoyed by people of all ages. The entrance known as the day stair, the stair that the monks used during daytime to enter the dormitory, will be modified to allow a lift to be installed making the space fully accessible to all visitors. The lift will be glazed so those using it can see the full drama of the dormitory appear before them as they travel upwards. Visitors walking will experience the same drama as they climb the stairs. Visitors will be taken on a journey of discovery and wonder as they enter the monk's dormitory, above the west range of the cloister. It's the only intact monastery dormitory in England and is famous for its oak beam ceiling, a spectacular engineering feat of the medieval age. Open Treasure will transform the monks' dormitory into an accessible, visitor-friendly exhibition space, while retaining and enhancing its function as a library. The first part of the exhibition will tell the story of monastic life at Durham, using multi-layered interpretation techniques to suit visitors of all ages and abilities. Architect firm Purcell is the consultant architect of the project, with esteemed exhibition designers Studio MB designing the exhibition spaces. On a practical level, underfloor heating will be installed along with all new lighting systems. A physical break in the exhibition will represent the dissolution of monasteries in 1539 followed by the story of the formation of Durham as one of the major cathedrals of the Church of England and its life today. Visitors will be led to a new display of the cathedral's famous collection of Anglo-Saxon stones and crosses. The Sharp Library will be redesigned to enable continued use by library readers at the far end of the dormitory. This area will be reconfigured and provide a fully staffed library desk for users. As visitors progress through the dormitory, attention will be drawn to the architectural features of the space, before arriving at a reopened door at present hidden behind bookcases. This space is currently the library search room and comprises the upper floor of a 1950s structure built as useful but bland infill between the monastic grade kitchen and the south range of the cloister. It will undergo a transformation. The search room will be relocated to the space known as the library loft, which comprises part of the south range of the cloister, and will continue to be a quiet space where academics and researchers have supervised access to objects from the cathedral's collections appropriate to their work. The new gallery will have the environmental and security conditions designed to achieve the conservation standards necessary for the display of sensitive objects and artefacts from within the cathedral's own internationally important collections. The gallery will be suitable for housing loans and touring exhibitions from other institutions, allowing the cathedral to display themed exhibitions, bringing together complementary items from other significant collections and a programme of world-class temporary exhibitions. A new staircase and lift will be created, taking visitors back to the ground floor, where the journey continues into the Great Kitchen.
great kitchen was built in the 14th century and is one of only two intact surviving monastic kitchens in England. It has a distinct octagonal shape and high rib vaulted ceiling. The space was used as a kitchen until the mid-1940s when it became a monument and record office. From 1997 to very recently, it housed the cathedral shop. The new cathedral shop is now open in the undercroft opposite the restaurant. Open Treasure will transform the great kitchen into an exhibition space designed to provide a permanent home to the relics of St Cuthbert. This space will also meet environmental and security conditions designed to achieve the highest conservation standards to ensure that the cathedral's most precious treasures are on display in world-class conditions. Again, the space will be suitable to display objects on loan from other prestigious institutions. Physical features in the kitchen that relate to cooking and its time as a monastic kitchen will be interpreted allowing visitors to learn more about the original purpose of the space. The Covey was originally an external yard, providing a fire break between the kitchen and the south range of the cloister. Developing this area will provide a number of smaller spaces, suitable for exhibition and display, as well as an audio-visual room. Open Treasure is a major capital development for the cathedral that will improve how we care for our heritage of our buildings and collections. It will equip the cathedral as it serves the people of Durham and the North East as a place for visitors and pilgrims. Open Treasure will help people find meaning, delight, enjoyment, purpose and good news for their lives today. Visitors will be returned to the cloister, this time on the South Range where they will be able to continue to explore the cathedral or take time to visit the Undercroft restaurant and the new cathedral shop. <laughs>